Morning, Mr. Miguel. Welcome to Codex. An idea which then metamorphosed into a mission. A mission to propel young minds into the future of coding through engagement and opportunity. A mission that sought to align itself with His Highness Sheikh Mohammed's vision to leverage the opportunities that coding and programming offers to the youth. It's as he says, the language of the modern era. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the grand finale of Codex 2020. It gives us great pleasure to welcome our guests of honor and esteemed panelists who have taken out their time from their extremely busy schedules to share their experiences and expertise with us. Good morning. Good morning, ma'am. Yes, my apologies. I'm actually at the beach and listening to this. I couldn't help um, but smile when I heard you all speak about your arduous journey. Um, and I have to say, um, I think Mr. Dhanak will say it better than me, but we're just so proud of this team and all the obstacles that they've overcome. And we just kept raising the bar and upping the ante for them, um, including the outreach that they had. And I think um, they rose to every occasion. So uh, kudos to you youngsters for, for putting this together. And thank you very much to Emirates NBD and to Tomorrow for really supporting this endeavor. Boys and girls who are participating, um, I think this is going to be a, a unique experience for you and you've come so far. So good luck to all of you and God bless. Good morning, everyone. I am Neema Fatima Shakur, the Head of Communications at Codex International. Dubai headquartered banking group Emirates NBD is undergoing one of the most ambitious digital banking transformations in the world with group chief information officer Miguel Rio Tinto at the helm. With 14 million customers in 13 countries, the project represents a huge undertaking for Mr. Rio Tinto. Having joined Emirates NBD in 2017, he has been a major catalyst in highlighting how significant investments in technologies equipped ENVD with the tools and solutions to overhaul its existing infrastructure and embrace digitalization. He brings a track record of international success to the role, leveraging his combination of technology leadership experience in leading banking institutions alongside his advisory background as a partner at McKinsey and Company. So, just a little bit about me. Um, for those of you so uh, that don't know me, uh, I'm, I'm first and foremost a software engineer. This is uh, how I, since uh, high school, uh, at the beginning of this computing revolution, when you the first PCs were, were, were coming out and you could have them actually at home. Um, at, at 12 years old, I really fell in love with computing. I fell in love with computers, with the hardware and software engineering. So I pursued a career in, um, in software engineering. So first with a degree uh, in computer science, then an MSc in computer science. Uh, that was really my passion. I taught at university. Uh, I taught computer graphics and distributed systems at university for some time, but then decided that, look, to have impact um, and to, to actually take this passion, but bring it to the, to the service of business and to business problems and to real world problems. I thought I need to understand a little bit about the world. So I complemented my initial degrees on, on computer science with um, a master in business administration. And uh, that led me then to take roles uh, in, in IT management, technology management in, in, in several institutions. I, I worked as a CIO for one of the largest banks uh, in Spain and Portugal, then um, decided to go a little bit into consulting to take my experience, uh, help other companies as well in these technology digital journeys. I became a partner at McKinsey & Company and since uh, 2017 and 2017, I'm, I'm with Emirates NBD here in Dubai. Um, I love Dubai, by the way. <laughs> and uh, as Group Chief Information Officer and Chief, Chief Digital Officer at the bank. But again, I'm, I'm first and foremost a software engineer at heart. Um, my spare times, I'm a runner. I ran more than 50 marathons. It's my passion. We now arrive at the last pitch of the website development showcase and would like to call up team 
Annie Love, consisting of Alina Biju, Pranamya Prasanna from GEMS, our own English high school, to pitch their website to our panel of judges who are also as excited as us to see your website. Um, good afternoon, respected judges and fellow coders. We are here to present our website on the theme pets. This is Anilov. If you ever come across a stray or injured animal, you don't have to worry. You will be able to help now that Anilov gives you the opportunity to make a difference. So as you can see, this is our homepage. The first thing that you notice is this bright and beautiful pop art image. Now, why did we decide to go with such pop colors was to attract our viewers and our users. Now, if you scroll down, you will be able to see that the text moves up and the dog moves down. So this is what we call parallax effect. We wanted to have something fancy because we believe that the first impression is the best impression. Now, as you scroll down, you can see what are we. So it's a small paragraph talking about what the problem is. So I'm sure all of us have encountered strays in our locality. And some of these strays could be pets, you know. So what happens is when people, they buy like these cute and furry friends, uh, when they grow older, they realize it's a lot of expenses. As a result, they discard them. So these strays, these pets, they become malnourished or they're injured. So obviously pet agencies are working towards it, but they're not able to reach them immediately. So since we're not able to attend them at the moment, it could lead to larger consequences. And that is why Analove was born. Now, if you scroll down again, you can see parallax effects. Uh, now we have our idea. So. The, our idea, again, we've written like a small paragraph about what the solution is, which Pranamya will explain later. And our idea falls in line with the Sustainable Developmental Goal 15, that is life on land. Now, if you scroll down, you can see our footer. And now we have a cool feature that is the Google Translate feature. So unfortunately, Pranamya's device is configured in Arabic. So this is how it would look like in English. So now there is no language barrier. You can translate it to any language. We've translated to Arabic. Now we'll do it in Hindi. Yeah, so people of different languages can access our website with their language. Now, if you scroll up, you can see the adopt button. So that will take you to the find a friend page. So over here, we have listed six animals that you can adopt. So if you see the post, you can see that we've written the website. Another thing is you can just click on the post and it will take you to that website where you can adopt these animals. Okay, now let's move on to the About Us page. Here we talk about who we are and why we created Analove and as uh, Analove Coding in Animals. Um, we have included a slideshow effect, and this is me. This is my teammate, Alina. And finally, we have linked to some popular uh, uh, volunteering websites that allow you to donate. Uh, now let's move on to the crux of our website, which is Help a Stray. Now, suppose you come across a stray animal in your locality, in your park. There are quite a few stray cats in parks that are found in Dubai. Uh, you can take a picture of it and maybe you do not have the resources to help them yourself, but you can allow others who are willing to help um, reach the particular animal. So let's go to the upload page. This is the upload a picture page. Say you took a picture of an animal that you found in your locality. Here you can choose a file. Uh, I'm going to put this picture that I took of a cat. And I can uh, enter any necessary details like uh, the location of the cat or its condition uh, or any other relevant information that I would deem relevant. And finally, I can click upload. This will take us to the view page. So once you've uploaded your image and comment, what happens is it goes to our database. So now you'll see that. So as you can see, this is our database. So once it's here, the database is linked to our view page. So from there it goes and you can see our view page. Yeah, here you can see the cat is injured. Now we'll just scroll down. Yeah, so that's what happens. So basically now pet agencies or like NGOs, they can be on this page. So immediately when a user uh, puts an image or a comment that pet agency can immediately go and attend to that animal before any major consequences can take place. If they wish to straight up uh, go to the view page and uh, look at the animals that are available for help, they can go right here. And since we have admin access uh, right here at PHP admin, we can um, uh, sort of edit and control what is being posted. And finally, we have our contact page that allows us to contact 
uh, the admins, which is us, in case you have found a pet and you have helped it, we can remove it from the view page so uh, others will not go to the same location again. So that is our website, Anilov and Codex. We would like to thank you for giving us this amazing opportunity, which we would never have done. We've never had built a fully functional website if it wasn't for this competition. So it was a great opportunity and we hope you liked it. Oh, thank you so much. That was brilliant. Um, judges, any questions and uh, suggestions for improvement? I love that. <laughs> I just adopted two kittens. <laughs> um, and it is a problem in Dubai, right? I, I see a lot of stray, particularly cats. Um, and it's, I'm an animal lover, I'm highly emotive topic. I think you've identified something that will really resonate with people. I thought it was fantastic. The parallax, I love the, the creativity that you showed in terms of display of the information. I love the, um, the way you can report an injured animal. I probably link that to Google Maps, link that to location as well. So I think what, you, what you've done is, is highlight the injured animal, but I'd, you probably want to put more elements of, of people taking action from that. So where is the animal or so forth? So yeah, you, you probably take that a little bit further, but I love the fact that you're enabling people to report on injured animals. I thought that's fantastic. Um, really good job, guys. You've identified a real passionate emotional topic and really taking it to the next level. So uh, fantastic work. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Very, very true, very true. Just to add one more point is on the community element here. It's basically a, a community-led initiative. So um, a social feed model of design for, uh, you know, um, finding and sharing a pet uh, a stray would have been, uh, you, know, uh, you know, better representation. Probably that can be your area of improvement. It looks very holistic. Uh, look, look, there's an emotion in, in the whole, uh, you know, design you have brought in. Uh, yeah. So how how do you evolve it better from a, from a community perspective, where they can comment, they can actually relate to, uh, they can have share their thoughts, reactions. Um, that will be much more engaging. So that can be the future roadmap. Uh, looking at the the, the uh, idea you have created. Thank you so much. Yes. So we'll definitely take it into account. Um, congrats to all the finalists once again. Um, we we really envy uh, this sense of ownership which all of you showed and the critical thinking skills which you displayed throughout your pitch and through your website or web app as well. And thank you so much to all the participants who, who actually made the website as well, right? Uh, um, because making a website which is functional, uh, compatible and has a good UI is extremely hard, especially in such a short span of time. Uh, coming to the senior category, uh, again, it was very, very difficult, very well thought through uh, websites, very well thought through business models as well. Uh, and we actually spent a little bit of time kind of even discussing, you know, what do we do with uh, you know, with these areas because they all seem really, really well well thought through uh, in terms of ideas and websites. Yeah. So here, uh, again, starting with the runner-up, the runner-up actually uh, goes to Anilov with a very small margin because you really tugged hard on Gavin's uh, Gavin's emotional strings, uh, being an animal lover, uh, but again, a very well thought through uh, user experience. At the same time, having a very strong backend at it to kind of showcase how the data was being stored there. So I think that won the hearts of Nidin as well. So, so very well done to the team, Anilov. Uh, 